So I think it's pretty safe to say that there are definitely some freakishly large creepy crawlies out there in the world. Well, let's see. In the rainforest, we got giant cockroaches, grubs, moths. Well, Japan's got giant red hornets. And Australia, well, Australia just has everything else. But for me, who has lived in Southern California his entire life, the only thing that I can think of that comes even close to these are June bugs, which in my opinion are equally terrifying. Now it's easy to think that a tofu like me, one who has raised scorpions and praying mantises, could easily tolerate a harmless little June bug. <laughs> no. June bugs are big, mean, green, produce eating machines, and they freak me out whenever I see one. The June bug, also known as the June beetle, or in scientific terms, the Cotinus nitida, not entirely sure if that's how it's pronounced, is a subspecies of scarab. They start out in the ground as these disgustingly huge larvae, you know the kind, the one that Bear grills would try to eat for survival and fail. I actually saw one of these, but I didn't make the connection that they turn into June bugs. But, I mean, it actually makes sense, you know, something big and gross morphing into something even more big and more gross. Anyway, so yeah, every year around June, <laughs> who would have guessed, the larvae evolve and turn into adults and emerge from the ground. And then they take to the skies and devour all kinds of produce in your backyard. And if you're Asian like me, well, you got a lot of produce back there, so they are pests. And I know I shouldn't be so worked up about ruined fruit, but <laughs> it's just so sad. But the worst thing about them is just how they purposely fly in your face. At that point, it's really hard to keep my composure. Like, I'm sorry if I freak out when a humongous green monster flies right in my face, too close for comfort, invading my personal space, not respecting social distancing, all the while making this noise. <laughs> so excuse me when I feel just a little bit uncomfortable. It's like they have the annoying behavior of flies, but are like a hundred times bigger. Hey buddy, how's it going? Look uncomfortable, are you uncomfortable? Does this make you feel uncomfortable? Am I making you feel uncomfortable? Did you know uncomfortable sounds really weird if you say it multiple times? Why are you like this? How does this bother you? Am I bothering you right now if I get really close to your face? Hmm. You know they say that bees and wasps only fly around you because they can sense and are attracted to your fear? And that could be true for June bugs, but I'm pretty sure they just do it on purpose because it's fun and they're jerks. Like I can imagine them all just seeing who can scare the most crowds all the while laughing with each other like, <laughs> watch this, I'm about to make that grown man scream like a little girl. It's definitely not just me that doesn't like them. My mom is not very fond of them either. One time we were at the beach enjoying some fun in the sun and the June bug too was having fun terrorizing everyone and eventually flew at my mom and nested itself in my mom's hair. <gasps> hey mom, uh, <laughs> there's no need to freak out or anything, but uh, you do got a June bug in your hair. Oh my gosh, get it off me! I didn't even need to finish that sentence because, you know, it's pretty obvious when you have something that big clinging to your head. It was hilarious, but I don't think my mom agrees. Some of you may say, oh, come, come now, John. How could you be so heartless? Just look at these magnificent beasts. Look at that emerald green. Can't you just appreciate them for their beauty? Why, yes. Yes, I can. When they're dead. You probably won't ever see me have this much hostility towards any other creature. Maybe except for spiders with white fuzzy butts, but don't ask. It's probably because I know deep down that most of these things I can feed off to my other pets. And then my problem is solved. Free food source and free pest control. I can't do that with June bugs. Like if I tried to catch one, it would probably just rip right through my net. And even if I did catch one, I highly doubt my pets would be even interested in eating one of these things. Also, as much as I dislike them because hate is too strong of a word, I don't go out and purposely try to kill them. Because if I did, like if I tried to squish it with my foot, it would just shrug it off like it was nothing. And then it would probably squish me. And I don't know about you, but that just sounds very unfortunate for me. So it's a sad situation, really. I did, however, get a glimpse of some hope. One time I was observing a June bug in my backyard from inside the safety of my house. And then I saw a brave blue jay swoop in, knock out that June bug and started to eat it. <sighs> Nature is truly amazing. 
Lastly, I will say that because of their size, unlike flies, they have a lot more surface area, therefore are much easier to hit in flight by, say, a stick or a bat, machine gun, or from my personal experience, my fist. So a group of friends and I were walking around at an outside mall and this June bug just kept following us. My friends scattered like the wimps they were, but I was still trying to keep my composure and calmness. If it did sense fear, I'm not going to give it to him. And you would think that it would fly away after a while, right? But no, it just kept coming back and flying around my face like it was trying to provoke me or something. There was no reason this thing had to fly this close to the ground, so close to me. Clearly this was on purpose, and clearly it was trying to provoke me. I could tell it was going to come back for another pass, and it was a true fight or flight moment. And I chose fight. So as the June bug flew in, I wound up, and I one punch man style socked that boy in the face. The June bug flailed around for a bit because it was probably confused as heck. Gah, just punch me? Impossible! But before it could regain composure and fly, I ran away. Because I was afraid it was going to come after me. So yeah, in conclusion, I do not like June bugs. They scare me. But just know that if you come at me and you get too close, I won't be afraid to punch you in the face. So, Junebugs watching this, beware. I wonder if anyone even likes Junebugs. Like, why? I don't know. Who knows, man? I actually had this idea back in October, you know, to make a video about Junebugs and how they're just, like, really scary to me. But then I was like, oh my gosh, wait. What if I saved it for June? So, here we are in July. Gosh dang it. Well, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Just a quick announcement. Um, big thank you to everyone who purchased a tofu plushie. Man, it really means a lot when you guys buy these things, and it definitely motivates me to make more tofu-tastic stuff. Uh, I did talk to the merch people, and they said that they still have a few more left in stock, so if you haven't gotten one yet, well, now is definitely a time to get it before it's gone forever. But uh, anyways, that's it. Um, come join the Edam Army Discord if you want to chat with me. Uh, I guess we'll just end the end card here. So <laughs> thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. But until then, stay safe and stay young.